Hey everyone, it's time to start on our Cuties Table Topper for January. Are you ready? Hey everyone, Kristen Som here and I have the camera turned a different direction today so you can see all the snow in my backyard. How cool is that? This is my craft room and I get to see all that snow right outside. Um, so we woke up to that this morning. That was fun. So I have already prepped. I spent all of today prepping for our tabletop cuties for January. And it was a really easy process compared to all those quilts and things that we do. So it's time to get started. So um, you should have your machine embroidery CD and booklet. It has the CD with the designs and then all of the different designs for January through June. Um, and then we got a fabric kit. You can order a fabric kit from our sponsor, My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop. And they have where you can either buy the bundle, you can buy all of the six months of um, fabrics. It comes to you still once a month, but you can buy the whole bundle all together. And that will save on shipping because you'll get free shipping for each of those deliveries. Or you can buy just the one month, so for January. And then you pay for shipping, but the price is, I think, pretty close to the same, but it's just this shipping that you save on. So there's two different coupon codes. They're underneath this video, all the information, um, but it's time to start prepping all of your fabrics. So what I did is I um, backed all of them with fusible stabilizer. I'm using Kimberbell fusible backing um, for my um, all the back of my fabrics. And then I also made a list of batting for you and I will add that in this video. I'll also add it in our Christian, Christian Creates group on Facebook. If you haven't joined that yet, there's a lot of information in there and a lot of really helpful people and a great admin team. I highly recommend joining that, that group if you haven't already. So um, a couple other things that we'll need, we will need our light mesh cutaway stabilizer. Um, I have the regular one and then I have the big long one, the 20 by 10 yards um, for when I add more things to my hoop. Um, I'm not sure that we'll be able to do that on this one though. I looked through the directions, it's pretty interesting. Um, we will also need our Kimberville Project batting. Um, this worked really well today. I love this batting, it's so much easier to cut and I like it. So the other thing that I did is I went through each of the fabrics and I picked out my thread colors. There is a thread um, kit. I think it's got like four maybe um, threads and it's Hemingworth, I believe, from our sponsor, My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop. So if you look on their website, they do have that. Um, but I went ahead and I'm using glide thread for everything except black because I don't have any more black glide thread. But everything else, I picked out colors that match the fabrics. And I'll tell you, there's a bunch of them. Like on the, the sage green, I chose sage. There's like four different greens that will work great for the fabric that's that comes in our kit. Same with red, I chose cardinal, but there's a whole bunch of colors that are um, very close as well. And so look through your stash and see what you have and what you can use. Um, I chose Jubilee for the snowman nose. And um, I chose coffee bean for, I think it's for the ski sticks, if I recall, um, black for the eyes of the snowman. And then I chose um, magic mint for um, the lazy daisy fabrics. And there's, like I said, there's a few. There was like mint julep went close. Um, there were like three or four different colors that any of those would work fine. So just look through your stash and see what you have. Um, and then I also chose coin for um, our outer borders. I think it was the outer borders, inner borders. It was the inner borders is that dark gray um, star fabric and, and coin worked well. There were others that went well as well. And then regular white. So those are the colors that I have. There's eight of them, three, six, eight. And there is a guide in the booklet um, on page four that has the embroidery colors and you can go by that i find it easier to just match them up with the fabrics but um, i will add all the information underneath the video of the colors i'm using if you have the same or something close it will work fine 
So um, we'll go over this project step by step like we always do. Um, the January Cuties is on several different pages and I'll go over that um, with each part that we work on. So like I said, I made a list of the batting. I will include that in our group um, or you can do a screenshot on, on this YouTube video to save it. Um, and I have the thread colors. I will add that. Um, there's a bunch more information and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you over to the computer so that I can show you some other things real quick before we get started. One thing I forgot to mention is that um, there are three different sizes that this comes in, I think, um, for the triangles at least. For the Lazy Daisies, I believe there's 5x7 and 6x10. I am going to use the 6x10 design, um, but the process is probably the same. Um, but for the triangles, there's uh, I read a little information about this. So I'm going to use the 9x14, but if your largest hoop is an 8x12, the 8x12 will work extremely similar to the 9x14 from what I've read. It sounds like um, the only difference is on the 9x14, um, it will have the full triangle showing, and on the 8x12, the little ends of the triangle are clipped off, and that's it. And you'll be able to just eyeball it probably and, and trim it the same. I think the process is really the same um, for the 8x12 and the 9x14, and I'm going to use the 9x14. If you're using the 5x7, um, there are directions, I believe it's on the quilting, when you download the quilting design, um, it will show you how to use the 5x7 hoop and and it looks pretty similar or pretty easy um, but I'm not going to go through all of that for all of the different hoop sizes I'm going to run with the 9x14 and like I said the 8x12 you'll be able to see when you open up the design file it's almost the same um, the 5x7 will have a little small difference I think the orientation of the snowman maybe I'm not sure exactly but um, just look through the directions on the quilting bundle and um, it will walk you through how to use the five by seven so anyway um, get your big hoops ready and let's get started hey everyone so I'm at my computer now and I just want to show you a few things that will help in our um, journey with our projects so I'm opening a, um, a browser tab and I'm going to go to Kristen Creates. You can just go to YouTube and type in Kristen Creates and it will bring you to our channel. And then there's these playlists and videos, everything. So I'm going to open up our last video for um, the Merry Christmas Y'all Pillow that we just finished. And I want to show you underneath the video. So whenever I say there's this information under the video, what I'm telling you is right here. It looks a little different on my end because I'm the owner of this. But right here is the video and talking about showing you how to use in brilliance. And then down below the video, it will say join the fun in our group project, see more information, show more click on that and then look at all this information that is under every single video. I always share so much information. So when you're sending me messages saying, hey, what shirt are you wearing? Where can I find that? Or hey, um, how do I buy in Brilliance? Or who's our sponsor? What's our coupon code? All the information is always underneath the video. So the beginning of it talks about um, the current project that we're on. And then after that, I always talk about coming up next. So right here, next up. So since we were finishing up Merry Christmas, y'all, next up was the Kimberbell Cuties, which now we're going to start on. And see all these links here. So if you click on the link, this is the one for the CD. And it doesn't work. Sorry, I will fix that. They just... Um, updated their website. Let's see if the, there we go. All right, so I just have to fix the CD link. Sorry about that. Um, but anyway, so here is the January volume two fabric kit that you can purchase. And underneath the video, it tells you, here's my dogs. Hello. <laughs> Hi, baby. Um, so underneath right here, our coupon code, the, this one is for the fabric bundle. So the bundle right here, this is the January through June kit that I was telling you about that it's all the six months worth of kits that you get one each month delivered to you and you have free shipping with this one. 
So that one, the coupon code is Kristen Cutie Kit, and that gets you 10% off of the fabric bundle. So Kristen Cutie Kit, you can see it right there. The one that was for just the one month for the January, it's right here. Or you can buy that month fabric kit. Um, and that one, the code is KBQD2. Since they changed their website, they can't have one code for all of our items anymore. They have to have one code for each item. So that's why it's different. There's one for the bundle kit or there's one for the January fabric kit. Um, and like I said, I will get the link fixed for the CD. So that's the information for our sponsor. Our sponsor is My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop, and they have, like I said, the six month bundle fabric kit or just the one month bundle. Um, and that one month, the January, you do pay shipping on that. The big savings, like you get 10% off either of these, but you with each code that I just mentioned, but you'll get free shipping if you buy the um, bundle one. All right, so that's the information that's underneath the video. Um, I, as you know, I use Embrilliance a lot. We just started using it this year. I think we started in like March. I'm not absolutely sure about that, but um, recently. And we we're just jamming along with it and loving it. And so there is a link under here. Um, I am an affiliate with Embrilliance Essentials. And so if you purchase it, if you're in the market for embroidery software, please use my link. It's under every single video right here. See right here, click to buy from Embrilliance. This is my affiliate link. And when you click on that link, it puts a little cookie on your computer saying that you're supporting Kristen Creates. And then you can see it right here. This is the one that we use all the time, Essentials. You can get it right there on the left sidebar, or you can go up to the store. Either one will take you to the Embrilliance Essentials. And you click Add to Cart, and um, you can purchase Embrilliance Essentials. And you've seen I do step-by-step -step on how to do everything with Embrilliance Essentials. And so... Um, if you're in the market for that, please click on my link. It's under every single video. Um, and here's a link to our group, our, our fantastic group on Facebook. I love it. It's so wonderful. And, and the people are so amazing and helpful. And then there's always other supplies like the dry erase packets. So all these packets that I organize my fabrics in, there's a link to those right here. And these are affiliate links as well. I get a tiny little kickback from Amazon if you purchase from the links that I share. So these packets have been so helpful. I really like them. And there's also, see this bin to hold the dry erase packets. So my bin is like, oh my gosh, so old, like probably 20 years old. But I found one on Amazon that's the same size. And so that's what this bin, it's a clear bin so you can see your packets well. Um, and it's the same size as mine. And then the glue sticks, invisible thread, because that's when we did our stitch in the ditch. Um, rotating cutting mat, I use that with my orange pop rollers right there. Um, very helpful. Uh, my favorite duckbill scissors and my favorite needles. So all the questions that I get asked all the time with all the messages, everything literally is underneath the video. So take a look there. Um, when you're asking about shirts, see right here, the um, country, country Christmas on pink hoodie, the shirt I'm wearing in this video, at the bottom so at the very bottom of all of so here's the video and then underneath the video at the very bottom I share information on all of my shirts because I get messages about them so I always share that and then how to support our channel if you decide decide to do that so that's how to find all the information under the video you literally just click see more and um, see it says here click here to see links below the video and then all those links are under there um, so that's how to buy um, from our sponsor. Let me tell you one other thing is the quilting. So we're going to use the quilting bundle um, for these cuties. And there's a link also. So here we are. We're at the next up, Kimberbell cuties. You can also find this um, under the, the videos that we've already done for the cuties. There was an announcement video and an unboxing video. And all the information is under there as well. So... Here's where, see right here, it says to order quilting designs for the table toppers, please use the affiliate link from our sponsor. And this is the one for my girlfriend's quilt shop. And it all it does is it takes you to Kimberbell, but it puts a little cookie on your computer saying, oh, um, she's supporting uh, my girlfriend's quilt shop with this order. So you can see it takes us to Kimberbell just by clicking on that link. 
And then what I do is I use, usually just use the search bar. I find that the easiest. And you can type in whatever you're looking for. So I'm going to type in cutie and see if that works. And it does. So there, right there, the first thing that comes up is that um, bundle of quilting designs. That's what we will be using for our quilting on our month set here. So we're going to start with the January one. This one has all six months in it and they're all geared exactly toward the triangles and the squares in the middle and, and the borders. It's everything that we're going to need for that. There's this one that can be a little bit confusing. It has all of those quilting designs, but it's the regular quilting designs. It's not the ones that are triangle. They're not the sized exactly that we need for our cuties. So um, this is a different one. Like if you do, if you see in here and you're like, oh my gosh, there is gnome quilting. I love that. Then you can buy this one that has all the different sizes in the regular sizes, whereas this one is all those triangles. You can also buy each um, design separately like that gnome. I have to get that gnome. It's so cute. All right, so that's how to buy with the affiliate link, where to find the quilting. You literally just type in the search bar cutie and then it comes right up. Um, I showed you how to buy the fabric kit and the CD. I'll get that CD link fixed. How to buy in Brilliance, the packets for the organizing. I, those are at the bottom of every video as well. Um, and they just make it so easy to organize our projects. Um, the coupon code, like I showed you, is underneath the videos, um, and the batting. I made a, um, a picture. Let me find. Here's my cuties. So I made this for our batting, and I will add this in our um, group page, um, or you can do a screenshot right here. But this is all the batting cuts that we need for January right here, all of these. All right, that should help make it a little bit easier. Um, it wasn't very easy to find, so th this should be pretty helpful. Um, let's see, one other thing. So like I said down here, I recommend not cutting the inner and outer border fabric length until assembly. You can do whatever works for you, but I learned my lesson on one of my quilts. I cut them to the size that it said, and it turned out that they weren't long enough. And so now I always leave my inner and outer border um, fabrics long, and I just cut my batting to the exact right size. But then when I'm assembling my pillow, I trim off the excess. So that's my personal suggestion. Um, and I went over the thread colors that I chose. Um, and I will add information under the video for those. And I think that's everything. So um, anyway, here, the, I just wanted to give you all this information of how to find um, information under the video, how to find the, uh, the bundle of the quilting that we will use, and how to find the items from our sponsor. So we're all good to get started. Um, so let me know when you have all your fabrics backed and ready, or you can do them as you go. That's totally fine too. Um, but I'm pretty excited to get started. When I finish this project, I am going to go to California and see my grandkids. So we're not going to diddle dally too long, but we'll do it at a comfortable pace. My shirt today is a gingerbread. Oh my gosh, I, 
I love gingerbread. When the kids came for Thanksgiving, we were gonna make gingerbread cookies together and we all got sick, so sick. Oh, so sick. So none of us were wanting to even eat. I don't think I ate for like a week. <laughs> so no gingerbread cookies so far this, this season. And I love gingerbread cookies. So I am hoping to make some at some point before Christmas. Um, this design, I believe it's from Itch to Stitch. It's super cute. I really like that. Itch to Stitch is no longer around, but um, Designs by Juju bought a bunch of their designs, maybe even all of them. I'm not sure. Um, but if I find the, a link to the design, I will certainly add it for you. So, you know, we always have a goal, right? Every, every uh, project that we do, I create a goal and it's it's always something like work out more, eat healthier, clean up your craft room. I, I'm going to go a whole different route this one. Um, since it's Christmas time, I want to hear what's your favorite candy. <laughs> so um, last night I, I wanted licorice in the worst way. We didn't have any licorice, but I wanted licorice. And I was thinking about licorice and thinking about like banana Laffy Taffy. Oh my gosh, I love banana, any, any kind of candy, the fake banana flavor love that gummy rings i love gummy rings like apple rings are my favorite or strawberry banana or um peach rings watermelon rings whatever i love gummy rings um so did you know that here's a fun fact about kristen i don't like chocolate isn't that awful i know that's the weirdest thing ever um i don't know I don't think I know any other woman that doesn't like chocolate, but I don't, I don't like chocolate. But if it is a delivery service for a caramel, I'm all in, 100% <laughs> all in. I can handle chocolate if it brings me caramel. So fun fact, and I wanna know, share in the comments, what is your favorite kind of candy?